Hello and welcome to the Beauty Know It All. Today I'm going to talk about something that is close to my heart, or should I say, I feel in my gut, and that's IBS. I have suffered from IBS my entire adult life. I remember exactly the first time I started to suffer from it, and that was when I was 19 and I came down with gastric flu, gastroenteritis, really badly. And from that moment on, my intestines and my stomach were never quite the same and you'll not be surprised to hear because most women suffer or a lot of women suffer most of my friends seem to anyway and you'll know what the symptoms are um really bad bloating triggered by so many different things that unless you keep a really detailed food diary it's so hard to tackle what actually causes the problem. I know that it was definitely related to the time of the month so in the run up to my period and during my period it would be so much worse and then I would get alternate constipation and diarrhea and I knew that there were certain triggers for example I knew that drinking alcohol triggered me, I know that eating Chinese food triggered me and then I kind of used to know that every time I went on holiday and I remember when I first met my boyfriend friend be how romantic we'd be having a lovely meal and suddenly I would disappear for half an hour and I would literally feel the symptoms coming on straight away and it would be really bad cramping feeling of nausea feeling sweaty and hot and faint and then I would go to the toilet and be in quite a lot of discomfort for about 15 20 minutes until everything passed literally and figuratively and when I became a health journalist, obviously I was fascinated and that's when I started to realise so many women had suffered as well. And I started to look into different ways to treat it and I had food allergy testing, I had something called IgE and IgG, which is an immunoglobulin test, which basically mixes foods with your blood and tests for antibodies to see if you're, you've got a mild intolerance to food. Um, and a whole host of foods came up, some of which I thought yes and some of which I thought no. I mean, I've always been fine with melon and I've always been absolutely terrible with coffee um, and egg yolks, but not if they're cooked into things. Oh, it was all far too complex. And if you have IBS, and I presume if you're watching this video, you have IBS, then you understand. It's never clean cut. It's never black or white. It's not actually a food allergy like nuts, which can be life threatening. It's just an intolerance that can make you feel miserable. And I would be at really big events and suddenly my stomach would bloat up and I would look probably about five months pregnant and my stomach was tight as a drum. So I started on a journey of trying to find out what would ease my symptoms. And like most women, I didn't really go to the doctor. I didn't really see the point. Um, I always think of going to see a GP when you're at your absolute worst and you need a prescription. And I kind of knew that you couldn't get a prescription for what I had. And so I tried peppermint oils and peppermint tablets, which you can take, didn't really work for me. I tried painkillers, didn't really work for me. I tried hot water bottles, didn't really work for me. I tried food exclusion diets, but it was so random. Some months I'd get it, some weeks I'd get it, some weeks I wouldn't get it. Sometimes on holiday I would get it, sometimes I wouldn't get it. And then I met a gastroenterologist who said to me I should try probiotics. And this was about five or six years ago, uh, before probiotics were seen on every shelf of every supermarket and every health food store. And he said to me, if you'd ever been through periods of your life where you've taken a lot of antibiotics, and as a child I used to get a lot of chest infections. And then as an adult, when my wisdom teeth started to move, I started getting a lot of throat infections, um, and my wisdom teeth were related to my tonsils. And so I'd gone through periods of four or five years where I'd taken a lot of antibiotics. And he said to me, sometimes you know your gut just can never actually recover from that. And I thought that was really interesting, because although we've got trillions and trillions of bacteria, healthy and bad, living in our guts, that the balance can be out if you've, I mean, depending on your genes, depending on your lifestyle, depending on stress, depending on illness, depending on where you were born, all of that can affect your gut. And he said, why not start taking a regular probiotic? And at the time there weren't many available, so I started taking probiotics. And that's how I came to discover Alpharex, which is a probiotic that has really helped me um, to beat all my IBS symptoms. And it's the probiotic that we were all born with healthy gut bacteria that tends to get killed off as we get older we either take courses of antibiotics or we travel or we get unwell and I am a skeptic I had to give it a go I had to try it because he's a consultant gastroenterologist so he understands and he said it's the most commonly uh, prescribed probiotic that he gives to all of his patients and it has made a real difference to me and then I I was writing about it for a feature 
And I discovered something else. I discovered also that, and I didn't know this, it helped me curb my sugar cravings as well, which is a sort of catch-22 because sugar is not good for your guts anyway. It's not good for any part of your body. But I also noticed that I started to crave sugar a lot less as well. And I have no idea if that is a proven side effect, but it worked for me too. And that can only be a good thing as well. From my experience, there are over-the-counter remedies for IBS, like peppermint oil, like anti-cramping medication. But for me, they tackle the symptoms. They don't tackle the problem, or they don't try to ease the cause of the problem, which I think, for me, is an imbalance of healthy bacteria in my gut. We're beginning to find that it's related to so many things now. Honestly, I think probiotics are such an interesting subject to talk about. For me, taking the right probiotic has really eased my symptoms. Thank you for watching. I'll put all the details below. If you've got anything that's helped you with your IBS, will you let me know as well? Because I am still willing to try things. I have probably alleviated my symptoms by 90%, which is a huge improvement. And it's made me a much healthier, happier person. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next week. Bye.